Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming. And in this video, we are going to be doing a first let's play of Production Line. And this is also kind of like a uh, new look. I've only played it about 15 minutes, just enough to where I could like set up a good setup and then, you know, get a car rolling and being sold. Um, and this game is by Klipsky of Positech Games, who, you know, made Gratuitous Space Battles, Big Pharma, Gratuitous Tank Battles, I believe, Democracy 3, and so on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click New Game here. And I'm just going to start with the Medium Factory because it's a little bit easier because you start with 2 million. Um, and we're going to play Mission. Okay. So you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and left click to drag around. All right. And right here we select our build. So the first thing we need to do is we need a chassis assembly. And I'm using clicking the middle mouse to rotate, by the way. Doesn't explain that. And uh, there's a couple of uh, YouTube videos and it known. It doesn't absolutely, no one has actually mentioned that, although they have done it. And we're gonna pause this actually so we don't waste our money. Okay, so let's see here. How do I want to do this? Um, you know what? I'll just drag it all the way up to the end and I'll just ignore this one. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here and then I'm going to get a stockpile. I'll put it here and I'm going to place two resource importers. Okay. And there is a reason for all of this. Um, I found it was a little uh, easier if I kind of broke out, you know, like if I stored things that we needed for the chassis assembly and everything else here. All right. So for the chassis assembly, we need an axle, which is right here. And I'm just going to store F3 eh, is fine. And then we need a drive shaft. And then what do we need? We need a fuel tank and an undercarriage. So an undercarriage should be way down here. And a fuel tank is right here. Okay, awesome. Uh, so now we have everything we need. Uh, so of course the resources have to come out of conveyors. Uh, but for the most part, we have everything we need. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go to fit body, which is next. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little tricky. Um, the last time I, you know, my little test that I played, uh, I was actually, like, overloading, like, uh, the chassis assembly was being backed up because it was making too many of the chassis and the fit body was taking too long. Now, you can do research and you can click a little plus here and you can break this down into smaller sections and that really, really helps for efficiency, but at the start, you only have the big one, which is fine. You know, you can give it all the upgrades if you'd like, Just however you want to run your factory um so i think what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to put the stockpile for this here and then i'm gonna put the fit body so i'm gonna need three of them uh so huh. I'm put that there uh, just put that there you know what it's fine i'll just whoa wrong one Okay, so now I'm going to drag this one all the way over here. Okay, and I'm going to have the conveyor go here. And now I just need to hook up uh, everything else here. Drag this past it. might actually need another stockpile. Eh. For now, I'll just leave it as is. Okay, so what do we need? We need a lot for the fit body. All right, we need a roll cage. I'm going to put two roll cages. Um, we need a hood. Which I do not see. Okay, hang on. Oh, where is the hood? I could have sworn that I saw the hood at one point. Uh, well, there's the roof. We need the roof here. We need the bumper. 
front bumper. We need the rear bumper. Trunk. I, I really don't see the hood, by the way. I have no idea if that's actually in it or not. I have no idea. I, I don't see it at all. Um... Bottom trim. I don't think I see any trim. Oh, there it is. Trim. Two there. Um, front arc. Then we need the rear one. And then what do we need? Uh, we have... Alright. So we have the bumper. We have the hood. We don't have the hood. We have the roll cage, the trunk, like the trims. We have the rear arcs. We need the vents now. The vents, 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 vents. And we need a uh, window, right? Yep, we need windows. And then we need the wing mirrors. Correct? Correct, awesome. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, um, strangely enough, believe it or not, uh, the oh wait no 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 I did not well mm. and we have to do paint next uh yeah you know what it's fine I mean I I really prefer not to do things this way um. No, it's not going to work. Okay, hang on. Uh, well, it should be alright. I mean, it shouldn't back up too much. I mean, because it should just keep moving on along. Um, so now we need the next stockpile. So let's go on ahead and build our resource conveyor. And our next stockpile... I'll just put it here. Why not? it all up in here there we go okay so this one's actually pretty straightforward we just need paint <laughs> okay now we just need the fit engine which can also just be two mm. you know it'll be interesting because uh three might be too much whereas two isn't enough for the chassis but we'll see we will see. I mean, it got really, really far backed up. Um, but now let's do a stockpile on this side. Uh, let's just put it here. No, no, no. No, no. We'll put it here. And we'll do another resource conveyor. Okay. So fit engine is another thing that needs a fair bit. Uh, we need a flywheel. All right. Two flywheels. After a flywheel, we need a starter motor. And if the developer, uh, Klifsky, if you happen to be watching this, it'd be really nice. Uh, we need valves. If I can, like, go through and just click on what I want to be in here. Like if I can just like group select a whole bunch, that would be really nice. And even set up presets. So like, you know, we can carry them over between, you know, different games. So we don't have to constantly keep resetting everything up over and over and over. All right, we need a radiator, uh, radiator. That would, that would be just absolutely amazing. Uh, now we need wheels and tires. We need wheels. And then we need tires. Now, I, I kind of preferred, uh, my other one had everything in the middle as far as the stockpile goes, uh, but adding the third one kind of broke that order. Uh, I do actually prefer having, uh, it breaks. Uh, I, I do, I really, really do prefer having uh, the stuff in the middle because then, you know, you feed it into there and then it branches off, but this, this should do fine. Um, and then we need a steering column, steering column and a steering wheel. And then we need a steering wheel. 
Awesome. Okay. Next, we need to fit the accessories. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Um, so, let's just keep going. Okay, hang on. No, no, that was right. Okay, good. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to stick it right here. And I'm going to have this run up and over. And then I'm going to have this run in here. Okay. And we're just going to put the two conveyors here. And see, we haven't even used up all of this. We have used up a lot of our money, which means we need to, like, hurry up. Because we might not even have enough money to survive long enough. So, uh, but fortunately, we are pretty much done. Uh, the fit accessories are pretty straightforward. Um, we need... Uh, what is it we needed for the accessories? We need lights and horns. All right, so lights... Oh. Horn. Uh, the other cool thing about this game is, is uh, like right now, like we're buying lights, we're buying horns, we're buying doors. You could go a step further and save money, but I need more room, and just do everything yourself. You can import the steel. You can make it all yourself. It's actually, excuse me, really, really cool. Um. We need the windscreen and the air condition. The air con's right here, the air con unit. And then we need the windscreen, which is right down here. All right, awesome. Okay, so we're pretty much done at this point. Uh, so the next thing is, obviously, we need the export. We need the quality check. And then we need to fit electronics. Um, so for right now, I'm actually just going to feed it into one uh, because... It, it actually works just fine to feed it into one. Uh, however, uh, in the future, I will probably rearrange this. Okay, so we're actually done. Uh, I'm just going to turn this on to get all that stuff out of the way. And as you can see, our resources are just piling in at an insane rate. Our money's going kind of down. Not too bad. Um, let me just get out of this. I wish... Is there a way? No, there's no way to rotate. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I just had to zoom in enough. So you can see our, we're starting to build... Um, and until we kind of start like selling our first car, I'm not going to bother with research because I want that 300 and some thousand dollars to like absolutely stay there. Oh, okay, so yeah, we're already building. Oh, see, there's the third one. Okay, so let's see what happens when this one goes. Let's see if another one goes off with it because I can add more robots and stuff. Okay, yeah. So three is a little bit too much, but they don't have to wait that long. So they're still spending a lot of time uh developing now i don't know if there's going to be enough paint that is going to be interesting okay so the paint is starting to stack up that's not good it's not too bad though i mean we can always improve that once we get research so it's no big deal yeah it's this is this will be fine i mean it occasionally stacks up for a brief moment so this is perfectly fine there's enough room in there it's not gonna like you know backtrack all the way back and fit body once again is you know missing resources despite stuff being stored there i might have to place another storage here just for that that'd be another thing too uh Klipsky, if you watch this to be able to like copy a stockpile or even a setup like a factory setup okay so we have our car I don't, I'm, I'm terrible with names so i'm just gonna call this focus i, I really don't care ford whatever um so i'm gonna do a 30 percent markup on this as best i can um Another nice thing would be able to just select it. So that'll put the car at 23,000. Um, you know, because we need to make some money. And we can adjust this, um, you know, later. If, if obviously, if you know, we need to, we can click right here. And we can adjust the prices of everything that we want. All right, so we're going to... Oh, we already sold our first car. Awesome. And as you can see, uh, it, it's not getting backed up at all. Um, it's pretty great. I mean, they're, I mean, this side is getting backed up. My guess is, is uh, you know, it's each side's gonna flip flop, getting backed up due to the this not being right. But I can improve that with more robots, so you know, perfectly fine. Also, that running out of resources is really, really irritating. Um, just absolutely irritating. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna test something here. I am going to make a resource importer, which is actually really expensive. And then, how much does this cost me? Um, uh, 
All that money gone. Oh gosh. Too much money. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually like really curious. Oh, that 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 really helped. Wow, that that really helped. It doesn't not go in the other way for some reason. I don't know if these things are one way or not. I I've really no idea on that. That no, doesn't seem like they are. Maybe this side just doesn't need anything. Which, you know, is fine. So we are selling cars now. Um, we have the, the car showroom. We're pretty much selling the cars almost as soon as they go in. <laughs> we need more cars. We, we really need more cars. And it's actually starting to back up. I, I can't believe it. But this thing is actually starting to back these things up. Or sorry, these things are starting to back this thing up. I just... I can't believe that. But you know what? It's not that bad. So... You know, it's fine. Uh, I'm fine with the little backup, but, you know, ideally you want the one going out as soon as the next one comes in. But, you know, that's fine. So long as the cars are being sold, it really doesn't matter. Um, awesome. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And in the next one, we are going to start with research. Uh, we need to build up some money, so I'm going to let this run a little while and build up some cash. Uh, but once we have some good cash flow, I will... Uh, oh, we have four cars. So, yeah, one, like I said, once we have some good cash flow uh, going, I will... Uh, we'll, we'll start with research. Right now, we can't afford research because, you know, each one of these things we placed outside of material costs has wage costs, and research is no different. And research costs... Uh, research employees, I believe, cost way more than factory workers. Uh, so we don't really want to go too nuts with it and, you know, splurge a little too excessively. Um... So yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you like this game, don't forget to support uh, Positech and buy it. And there's a link to the pre-order page in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.